and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lee Sin Zed. That's right, we are going to try playing some Lee Sin today. It's a champion that I haven't played that much of, especially recently, and, and uh, maybe the, the weakest champion in the game. But we've had some people on YouTube talk about how they would like to see a Lee Sin deck, and so that was kind of the challenge today, is put together a Lee Sin deck. Decided to go with... So, with Lee Sin, you want to have um, cheap spells, because you want to be able to cast seven spells to be able to level it up, and then you also need to be able to cast spells to give Lee Sin Challenger, maybe another spell to give it Barrier. So we've got to be playing a lot of spells. And so I decided to, to pair with Freljord, because Freljord has some awesome cheap spells with Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, even Entreat, being able to find your champions. Uh, so basically, you know, like good protection, um, you know, Fear of the North, also good protection. And then also the other thing that Freljord gives you is Starlet Seer, the ability to, if you're playing a whole bunch of spells, you can grant the top allies of your deck plus one, plus one, and make them get a lot larger. And maybe we can put that on like a Lee Sin. And so instead of Lee Sin um, only having four power, whenever it's leveled up and doing uh, casting the Dragon's Rage, maybe it can be five, six, seven, eight, you know, like maybe it can be a lot larger power with the help of Starlet Seer, which could help out also. So that's what we're going here. Um, we have 15 units, 25 spells, because we're trying to get those spells. And so our, our 15 units, we got uh, just five of them, three of each. We have Omenhawk, we have Averroes and Sentry, Starless Seer, and then our two champions, Zed and Lee Sin. So hopefully we're able to pump up like these Zed and Lee Sin a lot. We can uh, find them more with the Entreats. And you know, like these are going to be our things that are going to be finishing out the game. And besides that, we just have a bunch of protection and card draw, basically. Um, Key Guardian being both protection and card draw. Um, but then, you know, we have like Retreat, Deny, a little bit of interaction with the Will of Ionias and Harsh Winds, Stand United, a bunch of good things. And, you know, we want to be casting multiple spells a turn for Deep Meditation to draw more cards. Um, and that's kind of about everything. All right. So we're going to just go and throw it on over in into Ranked. First test out here. We'll see how we can do with a Lee Sin deck. And also with um, Zed, you know, like we're going to be playing Zed and protecting Zed as well. Hoping Omen Hawk and Starlet Seer pump him up. All right, tough test right off the bat. Let's get rid of Will of Ionia and... I guess I'll keep Entreat. I said Entreat. I meant Retreat. I think I said Entreat. And then we just immediately drawed, drew Entreat. So that, out there, that makes I'll sense. So the Lee Sin got the plus one plus one from the Omen Hawk. United, nothing can stop us. Ah, we're playing the Yeti version. So that's our second spell. Our land. We can also just cast like retreat on the Omen Hawk and then put it back into play um, to just get the get another Omen Hawk ability. Alright, more Starlet Seers. Because, yeah, now now going um, Retreat, 
bounce Omen Hawk, put Omen Hawk back into play, we're looking at five. Um, Yeah, because then our, our next thing is going to be plus 5, plus 5 if we do that. That kind of seems worth it. Hopefully our next thing is like Zed. Zed with plus 5, plus 5. Oh, an auspicious season. Or maybe we draw a Deep Meditation, and now we just played two spells in this turn. So then our Deep Meditation will give us that card advantage that we need. Why am I not attacking? Why would this not attack? I don't really have a good reason why these would not attack. Ooh, rewarded. Rewarded. 8-7-Z. Got that plus 5, plus 5 just for doing that. That other trick the previous turn. I feel like with those emotes and stuff, I don't know, maybe they're watching the stream. Yeah, it definitely feels like Frostbite Culling Strike, right? Nine cards in hand for them. Not and ready. I'd like to bounce this thing, keep it from being the 8-8 Overwhelm. With the Dragon's Rage. Could also Dragon's Rage the Ash as well. No, I'm bouncing this Ancient Yeti. It's going to be real hard to replay that Ancient Yeti. And then it'll just be a 5-5. Five five. I will not hold back. All right, five out of seven. Two more. And giving that barrier doesn't really help.
I really wish I had one more mana. I wish I could play Zed here and keep one mana available for Reckoning to Brittle Steel Ash, like for a Reckoning. Yeah, it definitely feels like Reckoning. Line up. Okay, nope, they're just gonna go with that. Do not hear the shrouded path. I mean, I wanna play that before attackers, but I can't against the Frostbite deck. I don't know, I just play this before attackers, they frostbite my Zed, my Zed doesn't get to attack and put another 8-7 into play, it's just, you know, attacking putting a zero power into play. That's true, I didn't need to play the Omen Honk. Brittle steal this thing. This would be a good winter. I think so. Alright, so now Lee Sin will be leveled up, and our next card that we draw is gonna have the plus four plus four. Maybe a fifth with one of these omen hawks. Yeah, I think I think a plus five plus five. We we of course want to draw card draw, like so we want to draw um any of our card draw cards. That's what I want to see. They're gonna have to run out of culling strikes eventually, right? Long card draw. Deep meditation. Key Guardian would not be a good card draw spell, so we couldn't cast it. Yay, deep meditation. Conflict is all in the mind. Ah, an auspicious season. I'll see this through. That works. Um, it's probably not worth attacking with everything else. I think we just do this. Okay, Lee Sin. Lee Sin Lethal. First game. Ionia endured. Ionia endured. All right. 
So we got to see Starlet Seer really shine. Uh, Starlet Seer and Omenhawk making all of my threats really large. You know, making the Zed and the Lee Sin very large. It's exactly what we're trying to do. Yes, the unit... So, yes, if, if Lee Sin would have zero attack, then it's basically like playing Will of Ionia. Um, with the Dragon's Rage. It would just bounce the unit. Okay. Am I playing... Am I keeping Lee Sin in my opener? Maybe not. Looks like we got a Zed game going on here. I do like that we're going to have the attack token on turn three. Ooh. Coming in hot! Hmm. Be nice to play Starlet Seer first, but if I play Starlet Seer first, then I don't get to Key Guardian with Zed. But then we'd also get more plus one plus ones later. Sorry, Starlet's here. Without a sound. No. I just needed one turn for them not to have pulling strike this turn. Then I have the Fury of the Norris. Maybe I should have gone the Key Guardian and then passed. And seeing if they would have spent mana. I guess I should have done that. I just needed not the card calling strike for one turn. This kind of deck really wishes that Shadow Assassin was, like, you know, we really wish Shadow Assassin was playable still. It'd be a nice card to have in our deck. Alright, so Sejuani's just leveled up now. That That's not good. I bounce City Breaker, they just replay City, ba City Breaker. Don't really need to bounce it. Here we go. Is a mountain and covered in ice. Deep Meditation's good. Oh, an auspicious season. Nothing escapes my life. Whenever we find another unit, it's going to be pretty big. With the help of Starless here. Ouch. Didn't think of Ravenous Flock. I guess I should have just Brittle Steeled. Forgot about Ravenous Flock. Mm. Alright, GG's. This game was definitely, do they have Culling Strike on turn three or not? If they if they just don't play Culling Strike on turn three, if they don't have that card, Zed wins this game for sure. Like with all, all this stuff with Zed. Zed was going to cruise. Come on in. 
But they did have Culling Strike. So yeah, I should have, um, I should have just played, when I played the Key Guardian, I should have passed priority and seen what they did before playing Zed. A true Fragorian welcome. Thinking about bouncing the City Breaker now. Alright, that was my bad. Played into Culling Strike. The only card, you know, in all of Legends of Runeterra that would have stopped me, and they had it. I mean, it's a, obviously a very popular card, but... Wish they would have had their other cards like Death's Hands and all that kind of stuff then. Yeah, I definitely could have afforded to play around Calling Strikes. That's that's why I said it was my bad. I like City Breaker a lot. I agree, Tumble Dog. That is a very underrated card. That card works really well with Sejuani and Swain both. I want and treat. Maybe I should be keeping and treat. You know, like and treat. Protection if something happens to Zed. It's also a spell for Starlet's here. Maybe I should be keeping it. Get him, Zed. Can see the Nebastian border from here. I have many faces. Of course, they got great blockers. Look out for Reavers. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna have to whittle through those blockers eventually. Will of Ionia could be really useful for they who endure later on. I should keep that in treat. Well, we're, we've been pumping up something with Starlet's here. Hopefully, Lee Sin. That's what we are currently hoping. Get some more attacks in. 
Deep Meditation's a good one. Wish we had like more deep meditations, more card draw. So we need to be able to go through our deck and Ooh, with these Starlet Seers. Choo Choo says, I built your Shen Garen Bannerman deck, but replaced Garen with Lux. No, and swapped in two extra six cost spells. But so far you're undefeated in four games. Awesome, okay, so that's good. Great, glad to hear. Okay, there we go. 8, 11, Lee Sins. We're at 3 out of 7 spells. Um, the thing is, is it better to play this, or is it better just to bounce the Neverglade Collector? It's probably better just to bounce Neverglade Collector. So if we bounce Neverglade, we have 2 mana. We have, like, Elixir of Iron. Also... Right, or maybe no, maybe I do play this. Beware the dragon spirit. So Elixir of Iron would be four. You'd have to cast another three spells next turn to level up Lee Sin. That's probably not happening. Fury of the North, that's good. So we take six and go to five. Triple Starless here. All right, so we'll bounce Lehu Endure. That gives Lee Sin Challenger. So Lee Sin will be able to challenge the Neverglade Collector. And then we'll just attack him with everything. An auspicious season. Blessed by snow and stars. I hope you all like the Starlet Seer uh, voice lines. <laughs> We're going to hear a lot of them. Please, I have connections. Yeah, and then we still have, even for their attack turn, we have Will of Ionia to bounce. They who endure. I guess I don't have. I'm one short of having that plus deny, aren't I? I was thinking I was gonna have that plus deny for that plus atrocity, but they don't have the mana to be able to play that and atrocity anyway. Because they're a little, sh they're a little short of that as well. Is a good card. Blessed by snow and stars. All right, we should have this one. Let's be able to go right to attacks. We'll have leveled up Lee Sin. Sh 
should have this one. Um, I'll Fury of the North, the Zed. Yeah. Fury of the North, the Zed. So we can have two seven power units. And another Will of Ionia. All right, Lisi getting it done again. In Avarosa's name. Prepare yourself. I guess if I would have Fury of the North to Lisa in, then it would have been doing the 13 itself, so we could have had, could have tried to have Lisa and do the lethal damage with that. <laughs> I guess this will be a good winter. No, right? That kick animation is pretty sweet. GG's. They will all learn to feel my order. Alright, so our deck definitely looks better whenever we draw units. <laughs> Unlike the second game, you know, we had all of our spells and we had just like the one Zed that had to do everything and they killed the Zed. And then we didn't really have anything again besides an Omen Hawk and a Starless here. Our deck has looked better whenever we've been drawing multiple units. Yeah, GG's. Thanks, Tumble Dog. That's true. That's true. They could have, like, Glimpse Beyond. If I would have buffed up the Lisa and they could Glimpse Beyond that and then I wouldn't do damage. Okay, Lux Vi Ezreal. Um, Will of Ionia seems pretty good against both Lux and Vi. That's for later on, but I guess I keep it. Ooh, I like that. I like that, so like I can play Zed on turn three and if they shoot Zed with a Mystic Shot, we can retreat Zed. Then they could have another Mystic Shot and then I'd be sad. We could at least try. Oh, and we got Elixir Vine. Protect the Zed. Do not fear the shrouded path. Thermogenic beam. Let's go. Come on, thermogenic beam. Darn. I was hoping not that one. Yeah, Lee Sin deals the damage to the Nexus whenever he kicks something. It's like he kicks the Nexus and the thing. I will keep us safe. Right, that, that worked pretty well. So a three mana deep meditation now. Fourteen. Cool. You leveled up, Zed. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. Lee Sin does work well with Overwhelm. Side take fourteen. New recruit reporting in. You have no alibi. Okay, so I take eight. Where do I will of Ionia bounce this mage seeker? Inciter. Taking eight's definitely risky. They're both just taking tons of damage. Virtue guides me. Six out of seven for Lee Sin. Extend your senses. Hmm. If we had one more mana, we would be able to win this right here. speed. I'll just put this in. Attack. My your so this will do 4 damage to the Inciter and 4 damage to them. It'll put it back in. It doesn't die. So they don't have Radiant Guardian turned on. So we're down to 2. I thought you'd never ask. Get back to three mana, Deep Meditation. Um, charge? Conflict is all in the mind. I will not hold back. And playing this right now to get the barrier, of course. This is really close to us dying. Without a sound. Very close to us dying. <laughs> All they need is another mystic shot. Hopefully not. You know, hopefully they don't have one. Yeah, if I'm them, I'm a, that this mystic shot should definitely go upstairs. 
That's scary, the detain. That, that's good. Conflict is all in the mind. Conflict is Ooh. all in the mind. Clutch deny. Conflict is all in the mind. Strike firm. Prepare yourself. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. We have to get rid of the Lee Sin. Yeah, they can't do it. And another thing. They will all learn to feel my order. Look at our Lee Sin deck. Three and one. They had a good start of, you know, turn three Remembrance, then turn four Mage Seeker Insider. That's a six five. And then, then the two mana Challenger and, an, and another thing and a one drop. <clears throat> Our little deck. This one's going pretty good. All right, they who endure again, so hopefully it works out like last time where we can pressure them, get kind of ahead, and then have um, Will of Ionia for they who endure. All right, Brittle Steels were definitely good last time. Unfortunately, we do not have the attack token on turn three. Which is what we want. We see through all. Oh, yes. Well, still, just one detain didn't save my opponent that last game. Because they had to have a detain plus something for another thing, so I guess they didn't have another something for another thing. Still being pretty good. Do not the shrouded path. That cluster is a problem. Them to you know this is what happened the last game. I need them to attack with Callista. I get to block with Zed and then Brittle steal it. This would be a good winter. Do not disappoint me. Not fourteen already. So basically, I did. I want to use. I want to save this extra mana. Oh, this is kind of. 
kind of awkward. Ah, an auspicious season. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Again, we'll see, like, again, maybe I should have cast Key Guardian, pass the turn, let them do something, and, you know, then play Lee Sin. We'll see if they just saved mana for Fury of the North. That You know, maybe they would not have saved mana for Fury of the North. Hopefully not. Hopefully this works. Okay, that's good. All right, so Lee Sin's at four out of seven. I can use Deep Meditation. Probably my best card right now. Let's see, do I want to Harsh Winds this turn? It's like either, what, Harsh Winds or... Play Starless Seer and Spirit's Refuge. Spirit's Refuge to protect the Zed from the challenge. Patience is underrated. Um. Don't know which one of those I want to do. I guess it's harsh winds. Come, come this way. Fly away while you can. Best not ruffle our feathers. I'll see this through. Blessed by snow and stars. Nine mana. No, they hinder. Yeah, I could have leveled up Lee if I would have just played both of these instead of the two instead of these two big things. I'm playing one of these two spells. I just don't know which one and I don't love either. Oh, come on. My time's running away because the Starlet Seer triggers? Come on. Seriously? My time just went away because of this? I couldn't do anything. You have to get me out of here. It's really frustrating. Just 
these these animations just took up all my time and I didn't get to do anything. I can see the Nebastian border from here. That was absurd. Conflict is all in the mind. Ah, an auspicious season. Blessed by snow and stars. The dragon spirit awakens. My lands need me. Center your spirit. <laughs> we go as one. Please, I have connections. What's your hurry? Please not they who endure. This Darn, I need I really wanted Lee Sin. Oh, an auspicious season. Come closer. I don't bite. Cool. Not they who endure, we we can't find Will of Ionia, you know, one of the, the least in for, like, the Dragon's Rage. Um... Dig, please. No, 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 no. Awesome. No, they hunter. I got pretty close there at the end. Starlet Seer almost cost us that. Well, obviously, it was me taking so long to figure out which one I wanted to do. Kind of going back and forth in my head of which one I want to play Fury of the North or Spirit's Refuge. But yeah, anyway. Lee Sin. We were 4-1 with a Lee Sin deck over in ranked, including beating um, They Who Endure a couple of times. Um, yeah. A 4-1 with Lee Sin over in Master Rank. Can't be mad at that. Um, pretty cool little deck here. Yeah, definitely... But not too bad with, with this one. You know, we lost to the what the frostbite deck with all the culling strikes. Or no, it was Swain Sejuani that had all the culling strikes. Just the deck with the culling strikes. Um, and we didn't, you know, we we had one unit with Zed and they killed it, and then I didn't have anything else the rest of the game. Uh, but yeah, Lee Sin was awesome. Doing all of its dragons raging stuff. We got to do a lot of kicks. That was pretty sweet. Hey, four one with Lee calls for with Lee Sin calls for a celebration. I agree, Choo Choo. Thank you so much. So those y'all watching on YouTube, they've been wanting a good quality Lee Sin deck. Give this a try. Um, <laughs> yeah, this deck should be named a Good Winter. This was a good winter. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, no, it's because because Starlet Seer is saying like that Good Winter over and over. And there, Cabo. All right, that's it here for Lee Sin Zed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.